Sabrina Marandola is at Laval Liberty High School. That's where students uh, met with Benoit saint amand He's a Paralympic gold medal winner in ice sledge hockey, and uh, he's getting ready to head off to the Paralympics in Vancouver. Sabrina, where exactly are you? Hi, Bernie. Well, I am in Laval. Uh, I'm at a high school here, Laval Liberty High School. And uh, students here very excited this afternoon, secondary three, four, and five students. They welcomed uh, Paralympic gold champion Benoit saint emma So uh, Benoit's 31 years old. He plays ice sledge hockey. And uh, he actually uh, brought his gold medal. He had it in his pocket, and he was here to give a presentation to the students. He pulled out his gold medal. He said, I won one of these in Turin in 2006. And you know what? That was really a bad thing. Thing because I liked winning so much, <laughs> and so now I am going to Vancouver, and I want to come back with a gold. Oh, good. And how did the students react? Oh, the students here were just thrilled, Bernie. They really appreciated seeing, um, you know, first of all, an, an Olympic athlete to come here to tell his story, and also he had such a compelling story. Benoit saint amand is 31 years old, and at the age of 15, when he was just a high school student, so the age of many of the students here, he was diagnosed with bone cancer, and uh, he underwent chemotherapy treatments, and then just a couple of years later, when he was 17 years old, he had a decision to make. He had to decide whether or not he should have his leg amputated, his right leg, and so he decided that he would have it amputated. So from above the knee, uh, that's where uh, his right leg was amputated. And since then, um, he's had one leg. And he said he was always very sporty. He's been skating and playing hockey since he was three years old. And uh, he really didn't want to give up sports. And uh, he actually found uh, a lot of comfort in sports. And he decided to give some sports a try. He tried a wheelchair basketball. He said that is a lot harder than it looks. And he said, I really wasn't any good at it at all. So after that, he tried uh, ice sledge hockey. And uh, that's where he really found he had a knack for the sport. He always loved hockey. And so uh, just a couple of years after he joined an ice sledge hockey team right here in Montreal, he decided to try out for the national team. And he was uh, he played as a goaler in Turin and came back home with a gold medal. Good. And uh, what did he have to say to the students? Oh, well, basically, he had a very important message for the students. He said, no matter how crazy your dream sounds, anything is possible. Because if I can have one leg and play sports at a national level, represent my country, and come home with a gold medal, anything is possible. So I'll let you hear from uh, some students right now. Here is James Zervaco. So he's 14 years old. He plays hockey as well. And this high school here has their own skating rink right out on the back. Hmm. And so every Wednesday, he skates on the ice here. He loves hockey. And uh, James Zervaco so really appreciated the chat today. So I'll let you uh, talk to James. All right. Hi, Bernie. Hi, James. How you doing? I'm doing good. Good. What did you think of uh, Benoit's speech? Well, Benoit really opened my eyes. I mean, before this experience, I really didn't pay much attention to sledge hockey, and now I can't wait to go home waiting for the Paralympics to watch uh, and follow Team Canada go for gold. How did he, uh, how did he get you excited? Well, it's always exciting to meet... Um, an Olympic athlete, especially one who's accomplished so much on uh, on one leg and has been so has been through so much, making huge decisions at our age, we really take too much for granted. And uh, what is it about sledge hockey that uh, that uh, impressed you? Well, the fact that in sledge hockey they hit and they hit hard, and it's really hard to skate. I mean, I've tried sledge hockey once and I couldn't move on the ice. Some of these athletes have really. Uh, Really good upper body strength, and it's uh, it's harder than it looks. Hmm. And do you do you play hockey like ice hockey? Yeah, I play ice hockey. What position do you play? I play forward. And what's what's uh, what's that like? Uh, it's fun. I mean, uh, I want to go to the end. I want to make the NHL just like everybody does. That's my dream, and uh, yeah. You want to make it to the NHL? Yeah. So uh, I understand that you gave uh, Benoit a gift. Yeah. What was it? Well, our school gave him a lot of gifts. We gave him a flag signed by most of the students to take to Vancouver with him. We gave him a certificate of recognition, and we gave him a lucky loony to bring along with him to go for gold. A uh, lucky loony? Yeah. Okay, what makes it lucky? The fact that we gave it to him. <laughs> Good man. Okay. Why was it important for you to be there today? Well, you know, as I said, he's uh, he's been through a lot, and he has a lot to show for, and... Uh, you know, he's, uh, he's well-respected, and uh, I can't wait to see him on the ice. All right. Hey, thank you very much, James. No problem. Good luck with your career. 
Thank you. Bye bye. James Zervakos, he's uh, 14 years old, goes to Laval Liberty High School. Students met with uh, Paralympic athlete Benoit Saint Arnoux earlier. He's competing in the ice sledge hockey. Paralympics run from uh, March 12th to March 21st in Vancouver.